This is a data-driven uh, project that um, I've been involved in for a number of years here. And it's not hypothesis-driven in the sense that we were not looking for an answer to a specific question. Rather, we collect data on a topic that we think is relevant, and then we see what, what the data tells us. Um, as an example, in this case, we found that disparities in race and, uh, and sex that we see in the society, in the larger society, are exaggerated among people with migraine. Uh, so we don't, we don't go in expecting an answer or proving a hypothesis. We really just want to look at the data. And the intent here is that it will generate hypothesis driven um, studies beyond that. For example, why do we see what we see in the data? The main finding was certainly that um, we see kind of a, a more intense microcosm of the uh, disparities uh, that we see in the wider culture uh, within the migraine community. Um, we see that um, there are, are a variety of disparities um, with respect to race and, and sex um, that seem to be even greater uh, among people with migraine in terms of the priorities that patients place on different aspects of treatment, uh, on the treatments that are available to patients, uh, when they become diagnosed, um, when they're first treated, uh, those kinds of things. I would hope that it would inform providers uh, of the need to consider uh, the wider implications of their diagnostic choices and their treatment choices um, when working with patients. Um, for uh, one example is that we found that minority patients are more concerned with the, 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 the social and um, kind of paramedical implications of both their diagnosis and their treatment. They're more interested, it seems, in um, the impact of their diagnosis and their treatment on their family, on their um, work life. And I, I would suspect that it's not so much that they're more concerned about it as the need for clarification in those areas is more pressing uh, among certain populations than others. So I would hope that the providers would start to spend more time looking at the implications of treatment decisions and diagnostic decisions uh, when they're treating their patients. But we'll just have to see. We'll have to find out whether that's correct or not.